retort. You get with your new wife or significant other, man, she's your sugar. She's your frosted flakes. But five years and two kids later, she started looking like some cornflakes. She's still the breakfast of champions. You've been at work messing around with some lucky charm. Because she's magical and delicious. If you keep on messing around and wife finds out about you, you're going to magically get some alimony. You're going to magically get some child support. Which brings me to my next PowerPoint. Child alimony. <laughs> This is a tragic disease that's best described as a mathematical expression because we're dealing with two complex variables that just can't get along. <laughs> so this is a math problem. It's in parentheses, so we're going to have to use the foil. We're going to bring child, put it in its long form. It's going to come out to be child support. What are you thinking? Where's the support coming from? Well, it's coming from the one that's got to pay. <laughs> then you got a money. You break it down, put it in its long form, comes out to be alimony. Then you're thinking, well, where's that coming from? Well, if you take the D in child alimony and move it over next to the A, you got a child and you got the money. You wanted them lucky charms so the wife gets the child, but you better have the money. <laughs> plus alimony equals zero dollars in your bank account. <laughs> now, what is the parable of this? It's this. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to the sea. Mm -hmm. yep. So stay together in that relationship. Stay committed. Be faithful. Don't cheat. Because if you do, I'm going to catch a sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> <laughs> and I advise all y'all to Google these. Uh, I'm not going into detail with them because they're really just very graphic. Uh, that's some downtime for y'all. Um, but I did put this in Superbug. This is worth mentioning to my shipmates. Superbug. It's a killer bacteria that's outsmarting the antibiotics given because we live in an antibiotic world. So each generation, the immune system is rising. So it's getting to where... Some, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, moxicillin, penicillin, and all that, it, it ain't working sometimes. What's your brain? I can't see it. It's, it's, it's Superbug, oh, okay. and that's what y'all need to Google, because if you Google Superbug, it's going to show you every STD out there. Superbug's been found in gonorrhea and syphilis. They call it super syphilis and super gonorrhea. If you get that, you're going to be super dead in about one week. It's worse than HIV. It derived in Japan. It's been out for about two years, and it's just... But an ocean away to California for its here. Are there any questions? Superbugs. All right, here we go. Condoms. They're 97% effective. That still means you got a 3% chance of catching an STD, even though you're wearing the condom. And they got all the free condoms you want down in preventive med. But I talked to them and I noticed something. They got a basket of regular condoms and they got a basket of magnums. They always run out of magnums. <laughs> they even hold back the magnums and push off the regulars so they can, you know, evenly distribute it. So that tells me that everybody in AS Jacks wears magnum. <laughs> but don't let it slip off on you. Ooh, if it slips off on you, hey, if that kind of slips off on you, you just went from 97% to 0%. <laughs> and take it easy on them sexual marathons. If that kind of busts on you, you just went from 97% to 0%. And don't come talking to me saying, Bright, you said if I wear a condom, I said medulla, alingata. <laughs> In closing, don't be afraid to go to your doctor if you feel you have an STD. And don't be afraid to go to your superior in case of time off because of it. Just remember it like this. You'll never face a DRB if you catch an STD. <laughs> you can catch HIV if you don't watch your P's and Q's.
So be sure, dot all your I's and cross all your T's. But most of all, remember this. God loves you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow.